How's it going guys? Mikey VPT here back home in my studio with BFD2. Uh, now I have to say a thank you to RET Percussion for uh, having me do some of their video work with some of the software. Really awesome experience. So on to the, the VPT setup I've got here. Got the Stealth Kit by RET Percussion. Got the Alesis Trigger I.O. Something new for you guys, the Personas Firebox. I'll get into a little more detail later with that. A new upgrade, the Alienware laptop. Three gigs now instead of one in my Sony Vio. Um, it's a much needed upgrade just to handle BFD2. It's a real strong, real powerful drone software, so hence the upgrade. Now, a little more about the kit, the stealth kit. A lot of people ask, why did you get this kit? How big is it? You know, what's the footprint like? Well, all I have to say is if you have this much room, okay, you have enough room for this kit in your studio, or whatever kind of setup you're looking for, that's it right there. The I.O., right, all of our drums, our cymbals, are going right into the back of that, plugging right in. Ten dual trigger inputs. We'll get into more detail with that also. This interprets my drum hits, brings it USB into my computer, and triggers the software samples. Easy, easy, easy. Now, the Persona's Firebox. Zero latency. Zero. None. Fast. It goes Firewire into my computer. It acts as my sound card. Real powerful. Much more on that, uh, as you'll see in a walkthrough. I'm going to get a little more detail. I'm going to do a little handy cam action onto the drums, the cymbals, everything. It's going to be awesome. So sit back, enjoy. Thanks for watching. Uh, comments, leave them, post them, I'll get right back to you. Enjoy the walkthrough. So the VPT walkthrough, why do it? I know a lot of guys and gals want to see you know, what's going on. They can't necessarily see this firsthand. You, know, you don't have a lot of time to check out all this kind of stuff at your local dealer. So I'm going to bring this to you. Let's start with the kick drum. Nice looking bass drum. The reason I'm showing this off in particular, it's got a really nice feature which I'm going to get to in a second, but uh, just check out this wood grain. That's a nice natural looking maple. It's an 8-ply drum. Keller maple. But just look at that wood grain. It's just a really beautiful touch. I mean, you can't get that with, with anything else. A of all. B of all, look at that stealth logo. It's like a stealth fighter plane. Kind of cool. And check this out. I mean, just look at that. That's the electronics right there. Just really clean, neat looking electronics. I, I just love that kind of technology. It's just clean. Check out this piece of engineering ingenuity. Check that out right there. The kick drum is attached to the rack. So it's not going anywhere. It doesn't have a tripod. You know, it's not going to start sliding away. It's nice and stable. And I love that. I'm not a hard player, but as you can see, I mean, I'm using a double kick pedal. Thank you, Tama. But I mean, I'm like I said, I'm not a hard hitting player, but if I'm using a double kick pedal, you know, sometimes I get kind of out of hand and I need some control. There it is right there. Bam. Cool. Now check that out. Locking Nutric Jack. That in itself is just, I mean, that's just ingenious. That's brilliant. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't play these drums hard enough to, to you know, shake these loose. Take a look at the, uh, the shells. Get a nice little shot of the shell. This is a satin black because it's the, uh, it's the stealth. It also the uh, the other RET drums usually come in like a mirror finish, but this is the uh, the stealth model comes in the flat black satin finish. Looks awesome. Black hardware, black on black is always cool. Smart trigger symbols. Let's check these out. We've got a 13 inch crash. Bam. Smart trigger. Thank you. We've got on the underside. Project box, 180 choke strip, works wonderfully. 
uh, the laminate. It's a, I think it's a patented laminate that uh, takes out the acoustic value of these cymbals. So it's just like, you'll hear, I'm going to do a little uh, acoustic demo for you guys, but uh, it's just, it's silent, it's brilliant. Here we've got the 16-inch dual zone ride, so you get the bell and the bow sound. Really awesome. I love it. It, it plays well. It feels awesome. I mean, I couldn't ask for more out of a cymbal electronically than that. As you can see, we've got two, four, six, eight, ten dual trigger inputs, and then one hi-hat pedal. So, with all of those, I still have one left over. So I could I could fit another floor tom if I wanted to, if I wanted to use it, you know, maybe as an auxiliary snare. Let me show you what we've got working with this. We've got a function, up and down button, a value, up and down button. So the function buttons scrolls through a nice little list of options for us. So I can go through programs, MIDI note channel, the actual MIDI note for each drum, the gain settings, a velocity curves. It's got some really awesome velocity curves already uh, programmed into the uh, the uh, interface here. So I could do a linear curve. I can do a number of. I can have. I can turn the curve off if I wanted to. I can uh, have it set uh, fully open curve. Uh, kind of a more of a suppressed curve, a long curve if you like dynamics, which I do. We've got threshold. We've got crosstalk, cuts down on false triggering, things like that. Retrigger level, it's kind of neat. It kind of sets how fast your trigger can trigger. So the lower you set that, the faster your drum will trigger. Especially, it's especially nice to have a low number for your snare. As you can see, it's on four. It's pretty low, um, but not too low so that, that you get uh, that machine gunning. So we've got trigger type. There we are. Uh, this is set on PP or Piezo Piezo. Piezo switch for symbols. I just hit the symbol there. Now you notice the kit light is blinking. That means that I've changed something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll back through these guys and once I hover over that, bam, it's saved. You can see it's not blinking anymore. So it's saved right now. It saved whatever I change in that I.O. It's done. I don't have to worry about it. Using uh Roland FD8 pedal. A lot of people ask about that. You know, it works for me. I've been enjoying it. I'm using a mono cable for my hi-hat. That seems to work a lot better than, uh, than a stereo cable. Keep that in mind. That's a nice little tip for you.